welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be covering the PTD 220 label maker and how to control your margins. This is my most frequently asked question, common complaint from customers, and it's the waste on the label tape. I'm with you, I hear you, and I'm here to help you, okay? Before I do so, please help me help you and subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. Okay, I won't bug you anymore. Let's keep going. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the power button. Once we have a label, um, I'm just going to have it say hello for simplicity but we want to go ahead and change margins what we're going to do is we're going to hit the label button and then we're going to arrow over until we see the word margin then we're going to hit okay and then you'll notice you have a few different options you have full half narrow or chain print i'm going to show you all of them but the first is a full margin this is going to be a one inch margin on either side so we'll go ahead and hit full and hit you'll notice i hit okay and it says accepted and then we'll go ahead and hit print. So this right here is the word hello with a full margin, which is one inch on each side. I'm gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna do this again. We're, again, we're gonna hit label. We would arrow to margins since that's what we just did. It's already there. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And again, you get your menu. We're gonna arrow this time to the word half. This is gonna be a half inch margin. Now for you and me, a normal half of an inch is 0.5. Um, for brother, it's 0.47, but you know what I mean. We're going to call that a half, and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Then you'll notice it said accepted, and we're going to go ahead and do print, and then I'm going to slice this. And then that's there. You'll notice these two dots. That's just telling me that in order for it to be a half of an inch, you'd have to cut along these dots, and then it would be perfectly measured. You'll notice on the other side of this, you have this extra tape because there's an internal cutter blade, and it needs to pass the label needs to pass on that internal cutter blade in order for it to be a cut and print. So that's where you're gonna have this little extra waste of tape. You'll notice you don't have that with this full margin because there was enough, that inch it needs, there was enough of that already on the built into that margin for there to pass that internal cutter blade. So now you've got your half, whole, and now we're gonna do this again. We're gonna go ahead and hit label. We would arrow to margin and hit okay. And this time we're gonna arrow until we see narrow and we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. It says accepted. A narrow margin is 1 16th of an inch or you can call it a sixth of an inch. We're gonna go ahead and hit print. And go ahead and slice that. And you'll see here, this is a narrow margin. You've got these two dots to indicate, hey, if you cut here, it will be the same on each side. So narrow half and a full margin now with the narrow and the half it will tell you where to cut however again you're going to have this extra tape because you have that internal cutter blade now the next feature i'm going to show you will help you avoid this extra tape now this next tip you're going to want to pay attention this is my favorite tip to help reduce label tape waste grab a pair of scissors and let's master chain print together this is called chain print now say you were going to label your child's file folders, right? Or your binders, whatever, and you know that you're gonna have 10 that you're gonna make for, you know, Joe Schmo. So we're gonna go ahead and hit label. We'd arrow to margin, hit okay. Now we're gonna go to chain print and we're gonna hit okay. So I'm gonna stick with the word hello and then we're gonna go ahead and hit print. And it's gonna ask you how many copies Let's say for this example, we're gonna do three copies. So you notice I hit the three to make it three copies, or I could have arrowed. I'm gonna hit print. It says, please wait. And it says, feed okay, because we're chain printing. So now you have the option. You can either hit print again, and it's gonna keep copying copies two of the three, and then it'll prompt you again, and you could do copy three of three, or you can cut between each copy. I'm not going to do that so we can save some tape and I'll show you how. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And you'll hear it again and it's gonna ask you, please cut. Here you go. This is called chain print. Excuse me, this is called chain print. This is gonna have all of your labels printed closely together. One way to avoid extra wasted tape because no matter what, we are gonna have to have some type of room for that internal cutter blade. You could then take scissors between each label or word that you were gonna do and cut. I would suggest either doing a tab or a few extra spaces after there just to make sure that you have enough room between each label 
However, that's what a chain print feature looks like. It's going to print all of your labels on one continuous label. So chain print, narrow margin, half margin, and full margins. And it's as easy as that. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week while we continue on with this PTD 220.